Welcome to ProEngage. In this video, we'll be looking at soldering techniques. As you can see, there's an example of the track side of the Vera board. So I've got in the background there uh, some soldering wire, the standard uh, entry level machine and sponge. Okay. So I will use the same board where I've placed the components. Check the video for placing components. And now I will make sure that my tip is nicely heated and clean. And then also make sure that the soldering actually sits on it. So I'm ready to go. So let's go with this. Let's see what we have to do here. This is the back, the track side. And I rest it if you have a little vice where you can have it or it should be sturdy. Place the solder on the joint and have it the tip ready. And you will see that it will be melting. And you should actually just get a good bond. Okay. Um, Less is more in this case. Uh, you should not over overdo it. Again, I'm placing my tip against the, the leg and then I just uh, gently or add some salt to that tip and it will take onto the track. You can see also the tip is on an angle. And so this just takes practice. Right, the solder has got its own flux in it already. You can have a look there. Very little solder, but it is bonding. And you can see the little legs is not, it's not a flat down because if it was flat down, I would have a problem in cutting the tips and you can, you might have a problem, you know, um, with a proper uh, cut uh, bottom part. So that to me uh, is a good soldering joint. Uh, you can just bend the legs back up and then it's ready to be cut. Again also when you solder stay in the track or on the track. Uh, in On other circuits you will definitely have more components um, where they are very close to each other and it is easy to make a mistake where the uh, tracks or the tips uh, are so close together and it would then make contact. There are solutions for that though. But let's carry on with some more soldering. You can see there, if it, if it struggles to take, it could be anything, you know, uh, the dirty track, little dust on it. It could be uh, that the tip is not hot enough. Um, here I'm just making an example of maybe a, uh, shall I say, a, a short um, where you've added too much um, solder or the tips is close. In this case, I want to show you that the, the tracks are actually uh, shorting and that's bad. Okay, that's not how you make a joint. We, we don't do jumpers either. So that is bad uh, for, for any joint. And just a, a way to get rid of it is either with a solder sucker or this little technique. You just use the tip and almost like you're painting it or spreading it. And again, uh, the tip is, is taking some of the solder and then you clean it. Look there. Those, those tracks are now electrically separated again, no short. All right. And that's the end of some soldering techniques. This is the outcome. Tips nicely cut off. And that should do it. Thanks for watching this video.